little bloody here. Heroes really wanted to trade harass, but maybe it's just so survivable there with now two points in the reactive armor. Yeah. Oh, Batrider! We're going deep, so there's gonna be a TP oh, in. Well now wait, is able to go through, get the first blood on the He's just going back in, and he will lose his life for this. He's flying himself away. Oh, the fairy fire down to the low ground. Oh, down no. the and this is gonna be Xiao Wei just living through this fantastically. And I thought he was gonna die there. Like he was very, very like confident he was not gonna die. He didn't spend his goal, he was just like a few. Um not the most useful oh, weapon. Yeah, wait, might be caught here. DM will follow up. Has that sun disruption coming out just in time though. Loda taking a little bit of damage from the shadow poison. Xiao wait, gonna get slowed down from that fire blast coming in. Xiao wait, looks like he will end up beating the third. Maybe comes back into the talk. I'm doing some work though. Looking for something more. There's gonna be another tomb chain of one second. Each EM goes in, gets that stun coming at you, but it's uh it's gonna be the disengage at this point. Yeah, he's still almost safe in there. He had the infused raindrop, he has a stick stick very tough question because all, all their heroes are in the middle. We just need oh, Xiao Wei goes. We'll get the last one here onto Bulldog. Looks at the Shadow Poison to follow up. They go into the Savage War Force. Everyone back for now. The Serum Chains come back. It's for the Root Blocks are there. Loda is going to get a nice little lap. Banana should be heading back to the grave soon. And that's going to be NMY running for his life. To do the Fire and the Blaze. He will go down. Aggressive though coming back in. Leap away from Loda. He needs to get out of there. He doesn't have the ultimate available. Aggressive turns target onto Ake. Ake going to be taking way too many Spirit Lances in. And those Phantom Lances are able to go and clear out the geezer. But two for one trade will still favor Alliance. Yeah, that is extremely, extremely good. Fall. If Loda wants to jump here, because he could very easily regret that, he's going to be snaking himself away. But under tower, they will be able to go through. They oh. get the flash on S4. He's got himself a remnant who wants to hop back, but they've got so much luck that he's able to get away. Just barely slides up from under their nose. There will be a flame break coming out. So they actually go in onto Bulldog. The bear didn't get out of work. They will get the root proc coming back in. There's a Lotus Orb showing off. Loda just going in. Maybe the damage there. He pops on the form. MMY gets very, very low. He makes illusions of himself there. He's cleaned up. No aggressive comes in. He wants to do stuff damage to the back line. He's got a chase going on. Banana. Looks like he's going to be running away. There will be the bear laying in the damage onto the timber saw. He's going to be getting himself away with the timber chains. Meanwhile, under tower, we will have the latch down. Phantom Lance will get the kill on the keyboard. The lights are looking for more. Loda It's very, very low, but they are able to go through, keep Loda alive, and get down the PL. That's huge. And on the back line tonight, we are going to have maybe running away. He's got that Lotus Orb on him. you got to be careful of that. The timber chain will be able to secure him at least a little bit more space. And I think he gets away safely. They're going to group up. They're going to look to be the aggressors in this fight. They know exactly what's coming at them. They got Bulldog there in that ultimate form. Aggressive going back in. He's got a doppelganger around. They get Bulldog trapped up. Savage Savage working on the roof rocks. It's some serious work. There's going to be a nice work. 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 Ogre at Magi anyway. Oh, uh, Loda. He's gonna be stuck up. He's got the BKB keeping him safe for now. He's gonna be hopping in the ultimate form, still riding through. He's gonna just TP away, leave the rest of his team for dead. I mean, that's gonna be essentially what happens there. He will get away. Jeez. S4 is able to zip away, but LTD showing some signs of life, man. Yeah, they got a very, very good initiation there. They got a They take the take bear. Now with the assault Kuros going in. They're gonna start the fight this way. He's the bear to save them. And the going back and he could be in pissed up. Loda gonna get dragged away. He's got the BKB rolling, but it seems like he's still in a bit of trouble. Not going to Ake. He's gonna get focused down by the PL. He will be the first to fall in this engagement. They're looking for more here. Loda, he's fighting with his last breath here. He's gonna be in pissed up. He's got his ult rolling. The flame break going back in. They bring the timber trade in. Everyone's LP is here still doing damage. They're all still up. They're also fighting. S4 goes in. He gets a nice staring chase off, but there's not much he can do about this. He will end up perhaps forcing the Kunkka back. He's going to earn himself back more positively. And then S4 can be looking for more. We'll get the Thuring Chains off. The Bananas can go with the Limitate form. They will be able to pop the Disruption. He's looking for something more. Loda, he's so packed up. He wants to go in aggressive. He's wandering around. He's looking for the kill onto S4. They do have the lockdown coming in. Maybe he's doing so much work. Will be able to kill the Ogre Mad by Tawain. He's going to get lasted or uh, in this place. He's going to be able to go down to the line. They just lost the game. Yes, it looks like this is going to be it. And maybe he's still alive. He's still doing so much work here that Aghanim's is crucial for his survival. He's just going to be charging on up. Let's hope the Timber Chains away is a way to safety. But S4 going to have to run this back to face. He can't finish off anyone. Batrider was the only casualty for LGD. Yeah, but can they hold Can they hold the Rex? Slug bought out for that fight. He died twice. That was a dieback on Slug? Yeah, he bought out and he died. That was... That was really bad for Alliance. And Ember Sunday really needs attack. to get more items. He, they are not dealing enough damage with the uh, Ember to clear out the illusions. He needs to get his Daedalus ASAP. Yeah, that's definitely going to be the game deciding fight as we are going to see S4 looking for one big stand goes in. Nice double chains up. MMY going to glimmer cave himself in safety. And the Illuminate only catching out onto aggressive. And again, with the heart, so, so. I mean, that slug death well, could be very, very bad if they didn't have Kotal. Like, Kotal is just holding LGD back right now. They can't push the high ground. Well, there is going to be the Ember Spirit Fountain every which way. Admiral Bulldog in that bear form trying to can there. Will the MMY coming back in? The first coming out onto the bear. Sure, really want to get to the Meanwhile, Loda's manning up. Goes in on the Spirit. It might be a little too much for me. Has to buy 
in fact, it's absolutely necessary, but it's going to be a big, big set of to go in. Both of them back out. We'll just crash off there. Not going to even do a whole lot of damage there. Now, Phantom Lash does get downloaded. He immediately buys back. It should be able to get him back into the fight. Admiral Bulldog getting low as well. Could be able to walk away, but meanwhile, EGM, once again, fighting the bullet for his team. Aggressive. Still up. Able to leap back into the fight using that doppelganger. And, oh, the bear. Going to be going down. 300 gold going the way of maybe. That means there's going to be Admiral Bulldog sitting there. Kind of sad. No resummon. Oh, my God. This is going to be bad. And they are going to plop down. They're looking for the kill onto Loda. No buyback on him. Oh, this is going to be absolutely game as they are not really able to hold that without their Coddle or their Slark. They just need to boost a travel in and just get the troll. Two heroes against five heroes. I mean, that fight was just... Uh... I mean, you've got S4. He's going to be trying here. Uh, middle I, I, it's going to be a lot of work cut out for himself. How quickly can he actually get this done? There's a team back to face from the Kunkka. But against five heroes, they're going to be going in the Ancient Thunder attack. Maybe an MMY should be able to get the job done. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're going to have S4 just really try, and he wants to do something. But unfortunately, I don't think the effort is going to be enough. The payout. Oh, the Fortify trying to buy themselves a little bit. But S4 gets the kill in the face. And the as the Alliance Ancient does fall. So. What happened there, Winter? It seemed like Alliance could take this late. At 58 minutes in, LGD still secured the win. It felt like I mentioned during the mid-game, oh, they were outgrading the opponents. They are feeling comfortable and... He figures, you know, all my supports are here. Maybe we can get a kill. He has the metamorphosis up, so we can actually apply a little bit of pressure. No mana for Xiaoye to stop. I mean, he's gonna have it soon. Okay. They yeah, they're the going arrow. in. They land the arrow loaded with some deep, deep doo-doo here. They follow up with the pressure. First blood will come out. Courtesy of the Dazzle Steel Bomb. And as the Metamorphosis continues, they are able to go lay a couple of clicks onto this tower. So overall, LGD spent a lot for that rotation, but it does pay off. Yeah, that was very, very crucial for them to be able to land that arrow. Without that arrow landing right around the uh, Ancients area, if LGD decides to commit to it, Oh, we'll wrap around here. The smoke rotation could be fruitful. They're looking for Ake here. They're looking for more, shall we? May have to give his life for this. He responds by immediately going for the crush. Maybe comes back in. Could land a double man ravage. Will land a double man ravage. And now Loda going to be picked up. Perhaps once again, they immediately get the team for the light. And they are able to follow up. Sven going down as well. This is big. Another metamorphosis has popped up for aggressive. And they are able to go through, securing a lot of pressure, if not the entire bottom tower. And that means more and more Roche control going the way of LGD. They're gonna tower. try and defend the mid lane as well. They're gonna send Shao Wei onto the lane. Oh, the bear goes down. Did he get the last hit? Oh. I believe it went to Maroon. Them so much gold and resource. Oh, the scan comes out. They want to get something going down. Alliance looking to beat the aggressors here. They're trying to get something. Oh, they got the courier. Oh, they get the courier with a nice little dunk. They go in. Looking for another colleague. Finally, get MMY. Looking for another colleague. Not going to go through a for just now. Banana falling down. They will be able to pick off another support as well. So both supports hit the deck. TP out. They are going to be able to get out the Terror Blade. But Alliance putting themselves on the board. Finally, after 17 minutes of no kills. That coordination was immaculate. That was so good. That game. Uh, Bulldog getting a little bit YOLO there. This could be a blink up to the high ground for maybe. S4 to follow up goes in, gets the Battle Hunter onto maybe. The Greaves to keep it nice and healthy. And Ake goes oh, in. Natalie, no, maybe, is just getting surrounded upon Triple Man. Gank coming back in. Oh, he gets the cross. He's he blazing all the axes. Oh, yeah, Jawa goes and gets the crunch to stall things out. And they are going to be bringing Nana trying to go for something. But oh, pull right through that shallow grave. And the strength of an axe gets the down. He goes in. Can they get the call at MMY as well? Look at that damage coming out. Finally, Alliance showing their stripes. Getting something done. Uh, initiation, they got the jump and LGD was not ready and they got probably the most important hero of LGD in terms of team fight, the, the fight, the ravage, then the grief. He popped the grief sorry to remove uh, the battle hunger, then he got caught on the and then he was basically screwed after that. In the back last they are going to have S4 going and wanting to make a little bit more space. Oh, Loda onto aggressive and they got the moonlight better and they have to switch the arrow going to get to S4 point blank. So they're going to start and they're going to try to outlast this. The Savage War coming in. Aggressive going to stun himself. Looks like they have no idea no where detection. he's at though. Yeah, no detection. Ends up costing them a really, really good kill. But they're still going to go in regardless. They've got to. They've got maybe there. He's going to be going in. Sprays up the deck. They could go for the Ravage Blood. But the Monk is strong for onto Zhao Wei. S4 going to be going in. The Savage War to buy some time. Maybe still sitting back. Threatening that Ravage constantly. But we haven't actually seen the tentacles for a long time. Aggressive pops with the Metamorphosis Swarm. Doing some serious damage to S4. Who pops with the mail. Trying to get something done. The call there to give him some extra armor. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Goodbye S4. And now Grease to heal up the rest of LGD. So Aegis on Loda trading for an Axe. Is that still worth it? Yeah, it's worth it for them. But yeah. Well, she needs like maybe 10 to 15 minutes to farm to get two items to be useful. So I don't know if they have enough time for it. They're gonna TP in more heroes. Oh, going in the Ravage connects onto three here, four heroes, and they're looking for Ake, getting healing up. He's there, and that's gonna be 
wide, doing what he can. There will be Battle Hunger popped out, maybe. In some serious of the Moonlight Shadow coming up, but this time they got the connection. They are able to go in and get the Tidehunter down. They're looking for more here. Lotus is doing the chance. Banana in some serious trouble. Look at him go. Hirana just completely is destroyed. And Zhao Wei going to be taking a storm. Him up with the high ground. That's going to be a fair going back in. There's another one to keep alive, but no. Aggressive. Him and his teammates flop him down. That's going to be an eliminated job. That's going to be a double kill. Really nice work from Alliance. They're looking for everything. They're the tier 4, tier 3 tower, rather. Falling down. I am doing everything. It works terribly, but it's all alone. I don't think this is going to be enough to hold him. He's just scampering around towards the high ground on the top. He's just bailing out. Death Act. Death Act. Keep everyone alive as well. Oh my god. Look at the heal coming in. It's daytime and they are soaking in the sun. This is going to be another melee rack going down for sure. They pop in the strong hammer. They pop in the fire blast. Just down the illusion. And this is the lion just all of a sudden saying, We are here. We are ready to get these racks. We're ready to win a game. And they're just dealing with these terrible illusions one by one. There's nothing that Terrorblade can do up against this. He's just trying to go farm. Again, he bought back. So he is just going to be sitting back very miserable as the rest. And Roshan is up. Going back in, but blink away. No one wants anything to do with this, but the smoke is still gonna hold. They kind of have their little uh, courier. And he goes for the shield. Oh, they get the blink in here. This is gonna be very visible. They go for the PKB. It's not gonna be enough here. They get Navy stunned up. The anti comes out. It's time to go. Comes through the culling blade, doing some serious work for S4, and that's gonna be a dead tide hunter. There was 60 such, seconds, no buyback. That was such a good play from Lone Druid. He managed to use his Savage Roar just in the nick of time to stop the Ravage from going off after the Kraken proc, and so he couldn't get his Ravage. But either way, I think he's gonna die anyway, so. That was a uh, big pick off by Alliance. They're gonna be able to with a stun from Slardar and finish them off in a bit. Everyone's sitting around, they're going around to the back, they're looking for the catcher to get Ake stunned up, but immediate savage for Zhao Wei just gets peeled apart. Oh golly, that looks like a threat. They get the call here onto aggressive. There's not much they can do. He cannot get up the thunder. He's gonna be dropping down just like that. He's gonna go outside the two. There's gonna be a nice rabbit to be connected to everyone. Star Storm doing some serious work here. Artemis is not looking for the light once again, but maybe he's still up. He's still fighting. He gets the graves off. They're looking for something more. It's loading. He's gonna be going back in. They get a team on the other side back in. Oh, the call. The call. The shallow grave. He's not gonna do anything defensive. He's just aggressive. He's still up. He's trying to screw around again. He's died back for this. We cannot go down here. We cannot afford that banana getting caught out after a nice star storm. They get the brush off. Put a grab and cut up the call. Call it down. Took the CG. And they just can't bring any more damage to fight. To both the ages pop down on the axe. But the GG comes out. There's nothing left. LGD get ripped apart by Alliance. What a great showing we got to see. Yeah, that Roshan steal is very, very crucial for, for Alliance. Being able to slow down like the LGD's overall momentum in the game. And I think the tempo, like a pace hero, I feel like he has to be on like on a semi carry hero, a pace hero.